when I set the timer for food to start cooking, there's always part of me that thinks, wow, 20 minutes, that's gonna be such a long time. And then suddenly the timer is going off and it feels like only a minute has passed. It's crazy how time works that way. Do you ever feel that way? I had such a great sleep experience last night. I went to bed around 11.30 a.m. and woke up naturally at 7.30 a.m. Refreshed, I got those solid eight hours. I feel fantastic. I'm making myself and Evie some potatoes this morning. Every time I make potatoes, Evie begs me to share them with her. So I'm making her a separate batch of boiled potatoes without any seasoning. That did not feel like 20 minutes. My oven baked oil free potato chips are done. If you watched yesterday's video, or actually two days ago, um, I was talking about how I'm determined to make the perfect oil free french fry. These are more like chips, which is what I wanted. They're really good and crispy consistency, so slicing them thin helped. I baked them for 20 minutes at 425, and then I flipped them over and baked for another 15 minutes at 425. And the consistency is great. I put a lot of seasoning on them, but it, you can barely taste it and they're a little dry. So that's the trick with the oil free. Hmm. Still trying to figure this out, but honestly, it's it's really satisfying, so I'm not gonna complain. Speaking of someone who's not going to complain, it's about to be a very happy dog. I made some kind of makeshift mashed potatoes from the boiled potatoes I made for Evie, and now she's staring at me wondering why I'm eating her food. <laughs> If you want to know how to make this carob drink, I'll put a link down below to an Instagram post I did which includes the whole recipe. It's super easy, only a few ingredients, so satisfying and low histamine. Just got back from a walk and now I'm going to have some steamed kale with some seasonings to tide me over until dinner time. I added on nutritional yeast, salt, and sesame seeds, and it is a glorious combination. Even just steam, plain steamed kale is super tasty. I am very grateful for this right now. This might sound a little weird, but I'm about to attempt to make savory pancakes. I had the kale, it was great, but didn't fill me up. Then I had some applesauce, also of course didn't really fill me up. It was very, very tasty and I'm too lazy to make anything too in-depth and I'm going out for dinner. I don't have a lot of food here. Pretty much the only option for me right now is to make more pancakes, but I don't want sweet pancakes, nor do I have any maple syrup. So my logic, I looked up a recipe for savory pancakes. I found one that involves butternut squash, which I happen to have in my fridge already cooked. So I'm gonna try this out. Let's see how it turns out. So I'm gonna add in this roasted butternut squash into the milk and then, <laughs> come on, blend it all together. That blended really, really well. Flour mixture, chia seeds, and now this, which kind of looks like egg. <laughs> Recipe calls for sage, so I'm gonna add this in just a little bit. It actually calls for fresh sage, but this is all I have. So what's your guess? Is this going to be good or not? It just tastes like a pancake, except it's not sweet. I didn't add any salt, so maybe I'll add in some salt, more sage. It's fine, it's just not very exciting. <laughs> I haven't eaten out in a little while, so I'm treating myself to a meal at Veggie Grill. I got, I think the Bombay Bowl is what it's called, which I modified. No beans, no almonds. It's made with a curry coconut sauce, which is debatable if it's low histamine, but I'm gonna let it go. And then I got sweet potato fries. I would normally get french fries, but as you know, I've been eating so many potatoes. These come with a side of Chipotle ranch dressing, which is 
definitely not low histamine. I think it's made with soy, but it is so good, I'm gonna eat it anyways. <laughs> That meal from Veggie Grill was not worth it. I really wanted to eat out, but man, I am paying for it. My body pretty much rejected that food. It's, it's not like I threw up or anything, but my digestion is completely off. I have some other symptoms as well, so I will not be eating Veggie Grill for a while because what I got was pretty much the closest to low histamine that I could get, and it just was not cutting it unless I like just got vegetables and quinoa but I could make that at home so it's a bummer I could find other places it's just a little learning lesson you know you got to keep tweaking based on your experiences with food I'm exhausted again so I'm headed to bed I am so excited to sleep <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow bye